Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I am so excited to have you here today for my neutral Christmas theme. So let's get to DIY one. This turned out to be one of my favorites from this year. I grabbed this pack from the Dollar Tree. I actually grabbed a few of them. Now in those packs, you have these little wood rows where they've carved out areas to place the trees in there. I used some wood glue and I glued them together. And here I just flipped them over and put a little bit of wood glue across that seam. And now I'm taking some tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to add just a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue so that I can hold that seam together. That way, while the wood glue is drying, I can still work with it. So I put those on each end as well as the seam. Now those packs that I found at the Dollar Tree have a couple different themes and a couple different types of trees. So I used two packs with two different types of trees. Next, I'm using this Moss Green by Waverly and I'm just going to paint my trees. I think this turned out so pretty with this green and the white. And so I just gave those a once over. Pretty easy. And I did do it on both sides just in case it's, you know, on the end of the table or something like that. From the back, it would look good. Now, I took this little rotating calendar set that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and that was already detached. And what you can do is you can do this. I end up later um, using a tag to just go across the back to cover that opening. But you could definitely use a craft knife and just cut the top of this off. Next, I took the months that are in that little calendar and painted those the same green and painted that back plate. And now I'm just gluing those together. I won't be using the months. All I'm going to do is use the numbers. Now I took some of my white acrylic paint and I mixed it with some baking soda. This is going to be my snow. Look at the dimension you get. Isn't that fun? I think you've seen me use this technique before if you've watched my channel for a bit. But I really like how this gives you, you know, just a little bit more dimension than, you know, just painting these a little bit white. In the final photos, you'll be able to see that dimension just a little bit better. And I just continue to do that on both sets of trees. And I painted the trunks brown. I think you can see it's kind of thick and I stacked it across the bottom a little bit. Um, these trees are kind of like it snowed and some of it's falling off. Actually, I'm in Minnesota and we just had a big snow. So it looks just like my trees outside. Next, I'm just going to put those in there. I didn't need any glue or anything. And then I have that deer that I'm going to use as well. And here's what I was talking about as far as using, um, I just used a little wooden tag and I'm gonna put that at the back. I also used that white snow paint on top of that box for the calendar as well as on those blocks that will be in the front to kind of make it look like the snow is falling down a little bit. I'm trying to adjust the camera a little bit here so that you can see. It's kind of an awkward angle, 
but I did want it to look like, you know, the snow is falling and it's on here also. And then I'm just going to add this deer. And when I glue him on, then you'll want to just put a little bit of snow around his feet. So it's kind of like he made footprints in the snow. And, you know, give that wood a once over as well. And, you know, just stagger your snow a little bit so that it looks like a winter wonderland. Oh my goodness, I love this. You could use this for a countdown for several things. Maybe you'll want to use it for a countdown to spring break as winter's ending. Isn't that pretty? But you could have your countdown to Christmas, however you'd like that. That block on the front, you could also add days or sleeps, whatever you would like. Let's get to DIY too. I use these styrofoam trees, I guess, um, from the Dollar Tree. If you can find them with the point at the top, I would suggest it. It will make things easier for you. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have made a paper cone at the top of it to make the peak of my tree. I'm wrapping this in saran plastic wrap. Um so that when I wrap this in my yarn or string, I'm making a slip knot here to just go over the top, um, it will be able to just come off easily. But as I get going on this, I realize, you know, it's going to look funny at the top. So I will add something in there, but in hindsight, I end up making a smaller tree with a paper cone. And from Hobby Lobby, it's like a cardboard one. I would use some cardstock and just roll and make a cone for the top of this for a tree. So you just continue to roll that down and then you're gonna go over it with Mod Podge. Mod Podge holds it really well. If you would use a tea light to maybe light this up, which you could do and would be beautiful, you wouldn't, you'd want to kind of stagger that a little bit. I've seen these done where you kind of wrap the string back and forth, kind of crisscrossing it. I was trying to make it a little bit more uniform and I just kept going around in that circle. But that would be really pretty to do. And I didn't want to go all the way down because I wanted my trees, you know, a couple different heights. So I'm not doing it the full length of this, but I want to make sure it's fully covered. Now's when I was trying to think, what am I going to do with the top of this? Well, my puffy paint or 3D fabric paint, um... I decided to put in there around the in the saran wrap at the top and now I just will wrap around that and just keep wrapping around there do make sure you get that plastic wrap up and over that cap um, I was thinking it would still slide off more easily off of that cap and I had a little bit of an issue removing it so just make sure that you do get that removed or covered, excuse me, with the plastic wrap. Now I did take this little cone and wrapped that in the plastic wrap as well. And that'll make a smaller tree. And I do like that it has the point already. So I did do my two different types of trees there in two different colors. And I'll do just the same on this one. I did start at the top and just working my way down, adding a little bit of Mod Podge here and there. So same thing I did on the other one, but just continuing all the way down. And this one was very simple to do. And there it is, just making sure it's all set. I let these dry and then I just gave them a, just a little bit of a squeeze. As I did that, it helped release it from that wrap. 
just continuing to squeeze just a little bit and it starts to slide off. Like I said, this one gets just a little bit stuck with that lid at the top. So I had to kind of finagle that one just a little bit, but then it did come right out. This one will be much easier. There we go. Just as simple as that. And this one is not too bad either. Next, I took a little bit of those little styrofoam balls. They come in a couple of sizes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using those as snow or ornaments on my tree. I'm just very simply taking a little bit of glue and just attaching those with some Mod Podge. I found it easier if I put it in the Mod Podge with the toothpick, touch the little ornament, wipe it on there. So simple. Couldn't be too much easier. I apologize, I get a little bit out of frame there, but I wanted to show you the difference in the size of balls. They do come in two different sizes there that I had grabbed. And here they are. I think they turned out really pretty for this neutral theme. And we have three sizes. Oh, tell me in the comments below which one you've liked best so far. Um, again, the very first one is my favorite, but these trees would look pretty sitting next to it. And here's a sneak peek. I took this metal tr house from the Dollar Tree and I'm using some fabric puff paint. And I'm just making some snow on the house. Now this is another way to add the snow, a different technique than the first one we did. You could definitely use a baking soda and acrylic or chalk paint. Um, this one will give you just a little bit more control. So just giving you a variation there. If you're enjoying my channel, I do hope that you'll subscribe and hit the like. And also tell me which of these were your favorite or which one, you know, you might do. I am just getting to the end of the Christmas DIY. Some of these, though, will be neutral enough to leave up for winter. Those trees could be, as well as this house. Um, because they're very neutral. So I look forward to reading your comments and I do co reply to each and every one of those. So please leave me a comment below on, you know, which was your favorite, what you'd like to see this coming winter. Are you looking for some winter DIYs? Are you looking forward to organizing? I know that I need to organize my craft area. That is a must coming soon. All right, to make this wreath, I had this little thin garland and I just fluffed it up a bit. I'd wrapped it around a paint bottle, realized it was a little bit too big, so clipped off some. We'll glue that together. And, you know, just make sure that's all fluffed up because they're just, you know, as they're manufactured are kind of stuck down. There's that faux snow again. I'm using a little bit of hot glue and just putting three of these together to resemble some berries. I will do this on each side and then up at the top. Isn't that just cute and dainty? I think it's fun. All right, we'll get these out of our way a bit. Now just a real thin jute twine bow. I was gonna go with a ribbon, but it was way too thick. So a little bit of glue, and then I'll just attach it to the house. I'm adding a little bit of white paint. I also did that down at the bottom. Um, to be the snow in front of the house. But I do, again, thank you for joining me today and look forward to your comments. But here's the final project.
Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Here's a couple videos you might enjoy.